So today we're going to be talking about how to take an image like this and turn it into an image like this using just a few layers in Photoshop. All right, let's get started. So we go over to our image and um, I'm using just the Adobe uh, Creative Cloud. But uh, as you can see, it looks pretty good right off the bat. Um, some people really get into all of the uh, the camera raw adjustments and um, I say that if it looks good coming in st stick with it if it's something needs to be uh, Manipulated or changed at all. Here's a good place to do it, but for the most part like it looks really good um, So we'll just go ahead and open it um, All right So the first thing that I do is put on a, a channel mixer um, Channel mixing it kind of irons out your tones. It gives it a real upscale look. Um, it's just a great way to get a base grade and then you can kind of go from there. Um, so kind of what I've been using lately has been negative 20 on the green plus 80 on the blue. And uh, you'll see it gives just a really cool base grade to it. Okay, so then we just take down our opacity here. Um, I think that looks pretty good at like 25. Um, yeah, in my opinion, a lot of amateur photos, they'll be like way too saturated or uh, just the, the tonality. There's, there's just too many tones. And so it's best to take out some tones and replace, replace them with the tones that you want. So, all right. Um, now, if this was a beauty retouch or any sort of normal retouch, I would really get in and, and retouch the face. Um, but for this, I'm gonna leave it because it has, uh, I think it would be look really odd if, if it was a beauty retouch on the face when it's a kind of a rugged sort of photo. Um, so we'll just go from there. Okay, so after we're done channel mixing, uh, what I'm gonna do is just tweak the contrast a little bit. And uh, I think what that will do is just add a little severity and a little pop to the image. So um, take down the lows and bring up the highs just a little bit. I, see how it's just a small, really small adjustment, but it adds like some severity to it, you know? Don't rely on one layer to do all of your, uh, all of your work, you know? The, the channel mixing added some contrast and now we're just gonna add just a little bit more. And um, yeah, you don't wanna have, especially curves layers, doing everything. Contrast, color, have, have one for contrast, one for color. Um, at least that's the way I like to work, so. Okay, now I wanna add a little off-screen fire because uh, this looks really great, but I think we could add some just dimension if, especially in this area, this is where the powder's heaviest, so um, we actually made this by throwing fireplace ash at him. Um, and I kind of wanted this, this idea that like, he was taken off guard by an explosion off screen, but he's well protected and um, it's, it's capturing a moment. I can, you know, and we can see where the powder is the heaviest and it looks like a good, directionality for the for the explosion uh, for the explosion would be right here. So I'm just gonna add um, This is a good color. I like something a little maybe a little bit more red maybe I Think that's pretty good. I'm just gonna put it like right here because that's where the powder is the heaviest. Okay, that looks pretty good uh, Maybe like so now we'll just take our opacity down and I think like something really subtle we can go 20% see how that works. Okay, we'll come back to it probably. Um, so now I wanna just add in some debris. And you can see like there's already some debris there, but if we add just another layer, um, go up and, and get a, a debris layer. There's a lot of different debris layers that you can, you can find online. Um, I'll put the link to in the description of this one, but I've been using this one uh, and been pretty happy with it. So, um, yeah, something like so. And then I'd probably put another one down here. And then 
I'm gonna put a uh, just a layer mask on it and then paint some of it out so uh, Whoops, always make sure you're painting with a black brush <laughs> if you're gonna paint something out. Okay, so, something like so. Obviously the debris is coming from left to right, so I wanna um, have him more in the moment of the explosion going on. I don't want to have a whole lot of stuff on his left-hand side if, if, if it's in the middle of the explosion, you know what I mean? So, um, you can also paint more stuff coming in. Um, but that looks pretty good the way it is there. So, mm. all right, I'm pretty happy with that. Cool. So now I'm gonna move on to getting kind of a global color layer right now. And this will do with curves. When it comes to color grading, I rely on curves, I think, more than anything. So um, we'll just go to the curves. And uh, you know, the thing with color grading is, is a lot of it is very subjective, obviously, and, and what whatever looks good, but there's some things to, to kind of universally stay away from, and that's really heavily over retouched things. And, um, you know, we could make it really look kind of nerd wagon if we, you know, I don't know. You, you see some of these things, and they can be cool. Like, there, there can be a use for that, but I think for the most part, like, at least most of the stuff that I'm attracted to, it's very subtle. And especially with your bigger, your bigger clients, like, you can you can be really subtle with it, but um, I think we'll just take it. Yeah, see that's kind of weird. Perfect. I think that's looking pretty good there. Um, you know, depending on how stylized it is, I think that's like pretty solid. Yeah, so there you go. Um, that is about it. It's looking really good. I could go back and maybe tinker with the fire a little bit. I think that's a little high. Yeah, something like so might be better. But uh, you get the idea. Something like this, you know, you could be on it for a couple hours, like getting each particle right, but um, for the purposes of this, this tutorial, like this is what, seven layers, eight layers and or less you're, you're in the ballpark. It's a quick retouch and, um, just showing you what you can do and how cinematic you can get with just a few layers in a short period of time. So hope you liked it. Leave a comment below, uh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.